Hi guys, today we're going to show you all you need to know about the strap and the strap matches in arm wrestling. Hey, it's Cal from OmnipotentGrow.com. Here is my fellow arm wrestler Tumbev. Uh, we are going to show you uh, how to win the match in strap and how to uh, do the new way of uh, strap binding the arms. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel, see the other content. If you're not new here, enjoy. So what we are going to need first is to place the strap on that length. So this is the ideal length of uh, making a strap. Uh, the idea is that when you grip up the after it won't go too far down and you won't uh, touch it with your fingers uh, when the strap is done. What are we going to do now is the first row goes to the guy or the girl that uh, has the strap on his side of the arm. The next one, turn around, naturally goes to the other arm wrestler. Afterwards, the tricky part with uh, the new style of, uh, of making a strap is that we are going to want, we putting it between the knot that uh, happened uh, da on the downside of our palms and then we pick it up here and make a standard backpack uh, rollout. So we can then pull up and make the strap tight. So now the strap is uh, good. What is important is always decide it to be on the same level. So we don't want to be like this, uh, the one person to be with uh, the advantage of being too high. We always want equality. So the level should be at the same point. So after the strap is uh, ready to go, there are two main points that you have to remember about uh, how to use the strap to your advantage. So what is the idea? When you grip up, here you have a cable and here you have a cable. Remember the exercises that I show you, there is always some pressure coming either on that angle or really hard here. So the idea is that you want to grip up and then pull this strap here. If you want to top row, you want a good contact here uh, the strap is like a hook to your arm, which you embed your force there. You're using it there. If you want a top row here, for example, the defensive top row, you pull not so much the fingers and the arm of your opponent, but you pull this here. You pull it and then uh, you focus your isometric strengths, your dynamic strengths here. If you want to go over the top, naturally you want to pull that one. You pull that side of the strap and uh, you're trying to apply maximum pressure here and then uh, bring up all your force in that direction. You try to bring up all your force in that direction. For example, if you're going for a high hook with a concentrated uh, curl around your thumb and you want your top to be really intense, uh, you want to get pressure to bolt. So you want to have the side get pressure to bolt and when you turn around your finger, you want to feel this and this side of the strap really tight to your arm so you can then push and force the, the strength that you have in your arm. So the idea is that uh, when you go into the winning side, when you uh, make your move, uh, the strap is turning alongside of your arm. Ideally, you are not attacking the arm of your opponent but you're applying the, the strength as you trained it. So it's really easy to get food and uh, try to attack different parts of the arm of your competitor. But uh, naturally you wanna attack in the same angles that you're training all year. So what I'm trying to say is that it's a mistake to uh, go after some angles of your competitor because uh, you're training uh, one year in the same uh, angles every day and then you try to do something new on the day of the competition. It's not supposed to go like that. You trust your strengths and then you apply the most suitable strength for you uh, against your opponent, not the other way around. Not uh, if you know that um, the other player is a really good top rower and then uh, and you also are really good top rower, then you try to hook him 
into a position that uh, somebody else would. You're trying to also to top row, but uh, with uh, the maximum of the side pressure and uh, the maximum of uh, these points of the strap that you're trying to take advantage from. So this is it for today's video guys, uh, subscribe to the channel and see you again soon.